into verbal uh, fonts. There was a setting which I think comes it comes from Asian typography, uh, Asian as in China, Korea, Japan, and whatnot. And they have something that's not quite bold. It's something else. I've forgotten the term where the the text looks darker, but it doesn't change the width of the glyph. Oh, um, I, well, so I there there is I can't called. a notion called of grade. That's the one. And oh, so so that I, bl- mm. I I'm not certain of this, but I think the first reference I heard of that was actually I, I believe it was Tobias Fair Jones, um, who was working maybe with David Burlow. Um, I I'm, I don't remember, but um, but the idea was uh, in that case it was trying to get um, it's you're right it's it's changing the stroke thickness or, or weight without changing the overall metrics yeah. and this originally in in the stories that i've heard about it was was to do with the different printing presses and inks and paper combinations to try and get something that visually looked the same on differing levels of quality and paper uh. and ink and all of that stuff so you could subtly shift it now, now grade is mm, incredibly useful sense. in this very instance so that when you flip the contrast, you could change the grade axis, and and so that that's and um, Dalton Mog actually has a typeface where they actually just have it like a dark and a light mode. It's just an on or off for um, for their variable fonts or for one of them anyway that I remember seeing, and and that's exactly what it was doing. When you switched it to to, to the dark mode axis, it would subtly reduce that. Um, and and so if you don't have a grade axis, you can reduce the weight just a little bit. And in some cases, you might want to just nudge out the letter spacing the tiniest little bit yeah. so that things don't reflow. The problem with that is you break ligatures when you mess with the letter spacing. So um, if you can shift the weight of the text, maybe, you know, by 25 or 50 or something like that, it might not reflow anything. Um, so that might work just as well you know i always found great like when i saw that when i was first looking into variable typography i found that really fascinating because one of the challenges on web design is like you've got this beautiful layout but then the title breaks a widow onto another line and it's like uh i, I want this to be bold and if it's not bold it just lo- loses its value so but the grade allowed you to maintain a degree of boldness if you had to compromise mm-hmm. but still without a complete refill of the page right um that's what i really found interesting ryan i